Well hello, hello, good morning and welcome back. As usual, I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy. Now, before we go any further, I've done the redraw for the giveaway journal. As you know, it was originally drawn as Kiwi Chick. She didn't get in touch with me, so I've drawn again. And the new winner is, I hope you can see that. Can you see that? The new winner is Linny P's Place. So, Linny, if you'd like to get hold of me and we can arrange getting this journal to you. Okay, so I'm going to set that to one side and we will wait to hear from Linny and we can send that off to Linny P's Place. That will be going off to her. So, get rid of these um, and let's go back to our accordion concertina book you remember I had that, those lovely handmade pads that I got and we started making this I'm sorry it's very warm here today um, it's around lunchtime, the windows are open, there's a lot of people moving around. There will be some background noise, I do apologise. And Boo's home, so she may well go off barking as well. Um, so we put together this concertina and we were going to put some mini journal pages in it. And because those papers were 12 by 12, we kept whoops, all of our off cuts, she says. We kept all of our offcuts to be making our ephemera with. So I'm going to put this up there out of the way. Now, one thing I was doing over the weekend is I was making some of these folder stroke envelopes. And I automatically went to do this one and I was like, no, 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 you promised you would do it all in video or on video. So all I did was I took one of the offcuts, you can see, look. Just took one of the off cuts. I folded it up to where I felt would be happy. There was no measurement, but if you actually want one, let's find a ruler. So the actual piece of paper is six and a half inches wide, and it is just under 12. It's about 11 and three quarters. And I made that first fold line at just under four and a half. And then obviously we need to fold the flap as well. So I just moved up marginally under an inch and folded that down. I then put the whole thing in my scoreboard and I scored three quarters of an inch down each side. And the reason I did that is because we want to fold this up and stick it together either as an envelope or as a folder so if we take as it were the bottom two off and the top two so i'll show you so take these two like this this one So now again, as I say to you quite a lot, you know, this is not rocket science. I am sure people have done this on video already. If they haven't done it on video, I am sure that you've worked it out for yourself. Whenever I'm looking to do something like this, what I generally do is I take something that I have and I take it to pieces. And then because I don't have a corner rounder, I have bought in my envelope punch board and I'm just going to round every corner. So then fold that in. And that one. I really must go to the shops and buy a corner rounder. I have actually just had to order um, some distress ink. 
should really have done it while I was doing that. It didn't dawn on me. Plus, I'm trying to be a good girl and not spend any money at the moment. I keep looking at how many supplies I have all over my desk and thinking, you know, I'm sure you could make do. And that is a classic example. So anyway, there you go. Then I'm just folding those in. And this is the point where you have to make your decision because you need to decide whether it is, because obviously you're going to glue it, whether it is an envelope like that or whether it's a folder so you glue that bit and that bit comes over and I've come to realize that in these um, designer papers I prefer them as folders so I'm going to take my bowl folder and put it onto my mat and just really press down these score lines and then I'm going to glue the side tabs. So obviously if it's an envelope you want, you need to glue the long side. If it's a folder, you need to glue the short side. And I'm doing a folder, so I'm going to do the short side. So I'm just going to run some glue down there. And then I'm just going to fold it up, press it down, like so. So there we have our folder. And part of the reason for rounding these corners is to make sure that it folds a little bit smoother. Sometimes, you know, if you cut it a little bit close, it doesn't fold as easily. So I'll get rid of my little scraps because they're too small to keep. So now what I want to do is I want to look at decorating this up. It's this beautiful blue and gold that's obviously already in this book. And I'm thinking that this will go... Now, obviously, it can't go in the concertina. Well, it could if you were going to glue it down. But I want it to go, as it were, over the page. So I'm going to have to use it in or on one of the journal pages. So I'm probably going to put it on that one there like that and put a paper clip. And one of the reasons I always decide or try to decide where I'm likely to put it is because it helps me anyway to work out how I want to decorate it. Because obviously if it's going there, it's next to these two pages that have got words on them okay so you don't really want to use words on it because it could get you know too wordy <laughs> um, whereas this side there's a much more open set of words so just sort of explain that to you so I should leave it open like that pop it up there so I know where I want to put it I'm going to clear some of my papers and move my mat in a little bit better I started using this much smaller A4 pad. I have got one of the giant ones, but I just find that it can be a bit cumbersome. And so I like this one. Right, so as always, crusty cheesecloth. We have to have cheesecloth. So I'm figuring I'm going to go down the edge like that. So I want it about there. Okay, and I don't know if I want, see, because then it hangs over like that, I like that. And when I put my cheesecloth down, I don't tend to glue all of the cheesecloth. I tend to only glue an area because I do like it to be loose as well, if that makes sense, you see then it'll be a flap and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put obviously stuff on top so that's coming across quite wide so I'm going to do another little bit of glue there like that okay and then I think what I want to do is I want to take a little bit of a doily so I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to ink it up a little bit just now I hope 
you're not being <coughs> jogged too much by the table I did say this um, in a previous video and I did watch and it didn't look like the camera was shaking it's just that having moved over here um, I'm now working with the camera on the desk so I'm thinking that you know if the table's wobbly then so will the camera be so all I've done is I've inked that up I've torn it off a bit uh, find the edge of the page and come in a little bit and I'm going to put it about there so we're just building up our layers as always it's nothing like a good set of layers I did say quite recently that for me personally everybody's different but for me personally four always feels like a good number of labels uh, layers not labels now I have here this is the Artemis sheets and I'm thinking that I'm going to put a picture from here on there so I'm going to take my metal ruler and I think I'm going to go for this lady here so I'm going to line that up like that tear that across and tear that across again oh the fans blowing it everywhere so I don't know where you are but it's it's really weird weather here in Kent at the moment you know we had all that heat and then it cooled right down and it got chilly and I even thought about putting heating on and now it seems to have got warm again although I did read the other day that potentially there may be some snow this week so goodness knows what this weather's doing and where it's going to end up but it is bizarre I know hubby went out with the dog the other night and I was like it's very weird because I can see from the clock it's um, you know nine o'clock in the evening sorry jogging you around again but um, it's light out you know like, oh hello Bo it's light out like summer well it sounds like there's a cat in my garden that's why she's uh, not very happy she doesn't like a cat natural instinct obviously um, and for some reason there is, uh, my neighbour's cat loves it in my garden well I've just got some of my coffee dyed cotton and I want that just a little bit bigger than that picture rip that off pull my strings out okay So I'm going to put that down lower and then I'm going to put that one up there like that I think okay so I think I've said to you before I do find Pritt stick is one of the best glues for fabric now I know we all swear by Fabri-Tac and it is an awesome glue despite the cost of it but I also find that if you're not very careful you do get spots of it coming through and if you've got a pale uncoloured fabric which most of us have because we're using tea and coffee dyed fabrics then it shows through and personally I don't like that so that's why if I can I do tend to use um, Pritt stick I just I like it I think it's um, good now I'm just ferreting through my box here because I wanted um, a bit of music paper and a number but I don't want all my small bits to fall out of the front 
and I was also hoping that I would find one of those um, one of those those shabby dabby doodah numbers I know there's some in here but it's the age old thing am I going to pull all this out and will they all you know, end up everywhere have a little look no, alright let's have a little look in my mini folder there we go look there's some that's just a little something that i made ages and ages ago um using paper bags to store my um little tiny pieces in because there was a time when tracy fox and a few others were doing mini kits so everything was um, tiny and because I'm not very good with small things I kept losing everything so I decided to just make that um, I have noticed that since I did it loads of people have made them so I'm sure you can find a video on it, it all I did was basically stuck I folded, I think it was four of those brown paper bags in half. I glued them together and then I wrapped a piece of designer paper around it. Um, they were those cheap sweetie bags, so it is sort of prone to tearing and falling apart. I guess I should make a much stronger one. Um, or think of an alternative. Right, so now I'm going to put that one, I'm just trying, across there somehow. And I think we'll go for number eight. I've not had a number eight for a while. Um, and my inspiration for making that came from Carol Tinson's video that I saw all oh, a long time ago, must be at least a year, where she made a concert there we go, you see? Where she made a concertina pocket. So let's get this back out for a minute. So instead of obviously making it big like this, she only made it about that wide and stuck it into a journal. And when you woke obviously it wasn't as fat as this, when you opened it, of course it did that. But as I say, there are lots of people who have done them. I'm sure you can find a video on that if you want to. So, glue that. Glue that. So, I'm going to put that across there. So, here we are. Just over a weekend again. Did everybody have a lovely weekend? You, um... Go out, see family, do you see something nice? We had a very quiet weekend, um, did a few jobs around the house, but not much more than that. So there we go, there's my front. Now obviously if you wanted to, if you find that's too long, you can trim that and just make it a bit more raggedy. There you go. Okay. There we go. That's that one. And then obviously you can slip all sorts of bits of the ephemera or secret notes in there. You could colour the back if you wanted to. I don't think I'm going to bother. I think I'm going to leave that because I quite like it the way it is. Especially bearing in mind that I want to put it on here. Can you hear the clip clop? Here comes Foo. I want it to sit next to all them words. So I'm going to leave it plain. Okay. So all I would do now is I would find a paper clip to go there, maybe uh, a decorated one. So we just put the plain paper clip there. Now, have I got a decorated paper clip in here? That would be too much to ask for, wouldn't it? Or maybe even one of these just these bulldog clips. Look. Okay, so that's that one. So then I would also like, don't lose our number three, would also like to make some kind of belly band. 
so I'm thinking I am going to use some of this gold because it's got this awful mess hasn't it now the belly band I'm going to use one of the actual concertina pages so for example maybe that one so I'm going to tear this to be basically ruler width okay and then I'm going to line it up on here and just do a fold fold measurement and I'm going to tear that off there like that so that will go down there now we have got these masking tape sides where obviously it's all stuck together I intend to cover them in lace so obviously if um, that's not a route that you particularly wanted to go down you may want to consider not using the masking tape but using fabric strips or something but I'm going to use this as our belly band but obviously I want to um, decorate it up a little bit more and I want to make it a little bit prettier and actually I'm just looking at the reverse here and I'm wondering if I'm going to turn it over and use that side that's quite nice so let's find some lacy decorations to um, work with on there now I've got this lovely rose lace now of course that's a waste thing because you don't see any of that decoration but you do see it through the gold or what else have I got we could build it up so we could use some of our cotton and some of our lace so if i did lace right across then we could use our shabby cotton the trouble is i think if you're doing that you're losing that paper so it's a bit of a waste you hear hubby in the background, he's developed a cold. Sorry, I'm just looking at my fabrics and laces behind me. Right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use odds, odd pieces and I'm going to make like a snippet roll on it. Um, but I'm going to leave the gold showing. So, for example, I'm just going to use some music. But I'm going to do this. Oh, let's use that side. I'm going to do this quite sparsely. Normally, when we do this, cover the whole thing. Whereas I want to I want to show quite a bit of the gold. So we've got that one. And then we've got this vintage advert. So I'm going to put that down there as well. I feel like I've been really naughty and I've totally abandoned you guys. I've not been here anywhere near as much as I was. So um, I have to apologise for that. Um, I really got sucked into this whole retirement thing and being free to do what I wanted <laughs> and I've been doing all sorts of things I've had time with the grandchildren as you know I told you about that we've been having some special times um, I've been well I started to decorate my bathroom because well why not um made a new bed for the dog so yeah it's really been um quite good but it did mean that i didn't come here and spend time with you and i really must 
get better at this. I promised you, I did promise you all that now I was home and retired, that meant I could spend more time with you and I feel like I've spent less, which is naughty. So, I'm going to try, not promising, but I'm going to try and get into the habit of doing a video every day. Um, I'm not going to be as silly as to say, oh, join me at 11 o'clock every day, because I know what I'm like, and that's probably not going to happen. But I will try and get one done for you every day. And I do promise that I will definitely share it about far and wide into lots of groups so that um, we can build our following and get lots of new people and different opinions. Because obviously I do ask you from time to time, what do you think about this, what do you think about that? And the more people we have got looking, the more opinions we're going to get. So there you go. So as I said to you, I'm going to do it quite sparsely, but I think what I will do now is I'm going to go right over the top like that. And I'm going to put down some of my trusty cheesecloth. I do love this stuff. Love it. So, and I've got quite a lot that I um, tea dyed. I had a bit of a tea dye frenzy a little while ago and I did a load of cotton and a pile of envelopes and also um, obviously papers and I did this rather large piece of cheesecloth as well so then I'm just going to snip that up there like that I think it just now um, I will use all these pieces, don't worry. They'll come into use for smaller item, little bits of snippet and all sorts of paper clips and the like. There you go, I'll just sort of spread that out a bit so it looks a little bit more tatty. Yeah. Bo started running around a bit because she's decided it's lunch time because it is half past 12. So I'm going to pop that one on there and then I'm going to leave you for today. We've done two more things for our concertina. And for those of you that are crafting along, it gives you a chance to catch up. So stick this in here. Like that. Okay. I am going to remind Linny P, get in touch so I can get this sent off to you. Stay safe. Happy crafting. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.